So what we're looking at? Fingerprints and they're fresh. Who's are they? We don't know yet. Wherever they are, they came from this window. There are more prints in the hand of the two of them. It's like it could have happened like this. Comes back from the pub, right? Yeah. He's had a few to drink, a little too many. Budweiser? Doesn't really matter. He's a bit drunk, comes like in, Budweiser. falls over, hits his head on the table, knocks the bottle off on, in, into the basket. Yeah, but how did he get back up onto the chair? That's where we found it. I really don't think so. It's, it's just completely crazy. It's more of a much more like a like this. Okay, so we're going. Comes back from the pub, slightly drunk, slightly inebriated, had a few too many Budweisers or so. Stumbles into the study, sits down on the chair. See, I've got him on the chair already. That's more than you had. Sits him down, but because he's so drunk, knocks over a cup of water, spills it right across his keyboard, right across his computer, touches the keyboard to see whether it's still working. Ends up giving himself an electric shock. Bang, he's dead. Uh, I don't think so. I think he did that. Thing. How about he walks? He, he finds a letter on his anthrax. I got it. On, on, no, no, no. Not, not anthrax. Letter bomb? No, Reader's Digest. How about how does Reader's Digest? He opens someone? it up, and it's one of those ridiculously sized novelty checks that's like, you are one person in twelve to win a million pounds. And he sees it, and he's really excited that he has a heart attack. Knocks a bottle off as well, you know, in his fit, and dies in his chair. Probably it's not more likely to happen like this. He comes home to the pub, but this time he's really depressed, really angry. Something about us going right before it riled up. Decides to play Russian roulette. Accidentally, though, picks up a semi automatic, blows his brains out. But there's no, like, blood splat. It happened like this. He comes in after work, goes in the kitchen. And there's someone there to kill him. What, an assassin? Exactly. Someone said to kill Jeff Thompson. But by who? I don't know. But this assassin is pretty rubbish at his job. And what Jeff's completely him? oblivious to what's going on. Oh, right. And right. he goes to get some ice. ice? And, then he, and then he turns round and notices the assassin. But then he slips over, hits his own head on the floor, doing the assassin job for him. So it's like self-assassination? Yeah, exactly, but he's not quite dead yet. He gets up and he goes towards the study where so he goes found back to his chair. Exactly. And he, 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 must, he must go back in that room, like to email the police or something. And he just, you know, it's he the dies. Bar. Yeah, no, that's never going to work. He had no head injury. Listen here! No! Oh. It could have been another assassin! What is it with Thompson, you an assassin? Thompson, 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 Thompson. Thompson. Well, somebody killed him, he did this, was an accident. He was a member of that fencing club. So it wasn't self-assassination. So he made plenty of enemies. And maybe there was someone there wanting to give poetic justice to their good old enemy, Jeff Thompson. Do his nothing. So they run out into the garden and they're having the mother of all fencing battles. You're meaning to tell it's me? It's like Luke two... Skywalker versus Darth Vader, though that really didn't happen in the film. But anyway, they're having a massive fight. You're telling me he went outside and had a sabre fencing, whatever you call it, match with some random assassin who just decided... Not a random assassin, someone who wanted to kill him from the fencing club. Right, so a fencing assassin, what difference does it make? Well... He was killed, wasn't he? Must have been someone. Yeah, but, yeah, no way. How does he get back in the chair and how does the bottle get knocked over if he's dead in the garden? Well, he's not quite dead in the garden. Have you ever yeah. thought about that? And he walks back in to email the police and he, uh, he collapses and dies. And, yeah, how about the assassin comes and knocks a bottle over just to be a bit anarchic? Hmm, so, that means... Interesting series, but I think we've got your map. Yeah, wrap this roll. Cool guy he's gay. 24, head of the fishery department, same thing. He's been collector of fish related items since he was at school. 
He has four foot robbery. I think he had to run him with that guy Thompson. What, you mean the dead guy? Yeah, him. I think Thompson beat him in some form of competition. But he's small fry, really. So who's going to be the bad cop, then? Me? Yeah, but you're always the bad cop. This ain't some bloody film. Let's just bloody do it. Let's both be bad cops. Why yeah. not? Yeah. Yeah! <laughs> 